First of all, let me acknowledge the clickbait title. In truth, it is very, very unlikely that the bottled water or other drinks in your refrigerator have been tampered with. But, there's a serious flaw in one particular type of bottle seal that could be easily exploited by someone with bad intentions to harm other people without leaving any evidence of tampering. Before we get into the specifics, first there's a little context that's necessary. Most of the products you buy at the supermarket or drugstore that are intended for human consumption have at least some level of tamper-evident packaging. That's primarily because almost 40 years ago, seven people in the Chicago area died as a result of using Tylenol capsules that had been poisoned with cyanide. In 1982, someone who was never caught or even identified apparently bought bottles of Tylenol, added poison to the individual capsules, then surreptitiously placed them back on the shelves in several local stores. Five bottles were directly linked to victims' deaths, and another three were later found. As a result, product tampering became a federal crime, and all sorts of industries stepped up their efforts to create and use tamper-evident packaging. Now, it's most notable with over-the-counter drugs, where there's often an outer sealed package with the inner container having its own separate seal. It also led the pharmaceutical industry shifting to caplets that were almost impossible to tamper with individually, unlike the gelatin capsules that could be opened and resealed. Today, pretty much all the prepared food and drink products on the shelves have some sort of tamper indicator to let the buyer know if they've been opened. But there's a big potential exploit in that system for one particular kind of bottle and cap with what's sometimes called a milk jug seal, and I'm going to show you how it works. Here I have a number of different brands of bottled water, and because I have no desire to get sued out of existence, I've covered the labels. The point here isn't to call out any brands in particular, because this kind of cap and bottle is used industry-wide. I'm also using bottled water because it will show the contamination clearly, but any kind of beverage with a similar cap and bottle is vulnerable to this kind of tampering, and in fact ones with dark colors and strong flavors are probably more likely to be targets to hide the taste of the contaminants. When these bottles are filled at the plant, machinery seals them with a cap that's designed to break into two pieces when it's open. Once you turn it far enough counterclockwise, a ring at the bottom of the cap separates from the top part, and you can hear and see it when it does. However, because it's impractical to make a cap that breaks the ring as soon as you start to turn it, in most cases it's possible to rotate the cap enough to unseal the container without breaking the connection to that tamper indicating ring. Once you've done that, it's possible to squeeze out some of the contents, then immerse the container in some other fluid, push out the air, and draw in a contaminant. Here I'm using water with some food coloring in it so you can see the process. You can actually remove and replace quite a bit of the original liquid this way, it's easier with thick-walled bottles like sports beverages and carbonated drinks than it is with the very thin store brand water bottles because the thicker ones want to spring back into shape and that helps draw in whatever you want to add to the contents of the bottle. Once the contaminants have been introduced and the bottle is refilled to the normal level or close to it, tightening the cap hides all the evidence. When the cap is opened all the way, the tamper-resistant ring still separates just like it did on a pristine bottle. This is mostly a flaw that affects beverages sold as loose singles. Bottles in factory shrink-wrapped flats are likely safe as are any where the caps are inaccessible beneath some other tamper-evident outer packaging. Bottles with heat shrink neck rings are also less likely to be tampered with, though the consumer needs to know that if the ring is missing, the bottle is potentially compromised, and it's unrealistic to expect people to know that, even if it's printed right on the cap. It's also very easy to simply order heat shrink rings online if you're so inclined. Now I'm sure that some people are going to be angry with me for showing how this flaw can be exploited, but if I can figure it out, you know that it's already occurred to a lot of other people, some of whom have bad intent. I'm also sure that the beverage manufacturers are aware of this potential issue, but doing something about it wouldn't be free, so they won't until they're forced to. It's my belief that the more people who know about it, the sooner a solution will be implemented, and hopefully it won't take seven deaths before that happens.